Notion is a great tool for organizing your projects and tasks regardless of whether you're working alone or as a team. In this video, we wanted to show you step-by-step -step how to build a versatile project and task manager with Notion, including how to show your task completion using progress bars. If you find this helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So let's dive right in. Let's first start by opening an empty Notion page, and we're going to title this Project and Task Manager. And let's go ahead and choose an icon by going to this icon slot here, clicking on the icon, and then we can go with icons and let's choose something with a check mark. And then you're welcome to add a cover photo by clicking add cover, change cover. And we like to go to Unsplash for a huge library of stock images. So we can just choose something minimal here. And the next thing we'd like to do is to go to the top right hand corner, three dots, and we're going to toggle on small text full width so that we have more space on this page. And now we can get started. So the first thing we like to do is to make sure and set up our databases. So in this project and task manager, we're going to have two main databases and we're going to place them inside of a call up box so that we can keep track of them and make sure not to delete them. So let's go ahead and type slash call out. And then we can click call out and we're going to change the icon to something more like databases. And we're just going to title this databases and we're going to bold this like this by highlighting and then clicking bold. And inside here, we're going to add the database pages. So the first database is going to be a projects database. So we're going to type slash page inside here to create a new page and it's going to open up this new page over here. And we're just going to name this projects and we're going to choose a gallery view database for our projects. And we can add new database like this. And then what we can do is to set it up a bit. So if we go to the three dots here, we can go ahead and go to the layout and we can choose to display card preview as page cover. So that's going to show the cover photo of the project. And then we can go back and we can add an icon here for projects so if we click the icon slot we can go here and choose something these boxes so that we can store our projects inside here and now if we go back to our project and task manager we'll see that this is here now so we can move this over into our call out box like this and then now we're going to add another page here so we're going to type slash page click page and then we're going to title this one task and we can add an icon here already as well by going to the icon slot and we can go with something with check marks and we're going to choose for this one a board view database and plus new database here and now we have a set of cards for to do in progress and complete so this is going to be all our tasks so now we go back we can see that we have projects and tasks like this and the next step that we want to do is to actually add now a linked view of our projects here. So to make a linked view, you want to type slash linked view of database, and then you have to choose the correct database here. So in this case, we want to display the project. So we're going to click projects and then underneath our projects, we're going to show the tasks. So we're going to type slash linked again for linked view database. And we are going to show the tasks and again, make sure to select the correct database here for this linked view. So what basically what a linked view is, is that it's showing you the view of the original database. So whatever changes you make here is also going to get reflected to the actual database, which is stored here. So now what we can do is add some heading. So we're going to go plus here and then we're going to type slash heading and choose heading three. And we're going to title this projects. And then we're going to enter and then slash divider to create a divider. And this is how we like to organize our templates and all of our Notion pages in general, because we think this gives the cleanest layout. And we can go to the three dots here. And now we can actually hide the database title by going to layout and then toggle off show database title like this. And we'll do the same for tasks as well. So we're going to do slash heading. And then heading three and we're going to say tasks and then slash divider and then we're going to go ahead and click the three dots here again and then we can go to layout and toggle off show database title so we kind of have the framework now for our project and task manager like this and the next thing we can do 
is now to adjust the properties inside our projects and tasks. So if we click into this projects, now we have two things in here that was here by default when we chose the gallery view. And we're going to remove this created property by clicking it and delete property. And tags could be useful, so we're going to keep this. So let's just put a sample project here. So a sample project could be start writing my book. And we can go ahead and make this a personal project like this. And then what we're going to do is add another property, which is going to be the dates so that you can actually set a date for when you want to start writing your book. So let's say that we're going to put an end date here. So it's going to start on the 3rd of January and you estimate that you want to be done with this first draft of your book in May, for example. So we can actually rename this finish first draft of book. And then the next thing we can do is add a property by clicking plus add a property. And then we're going to choose relations that we can relate it to our tasks. So make sure to click tasks and that this is the correct database. And we're going to show it on tasks so that we can show everything. And then we can do add relation. And now what we're going to do is actually to show this as minimal so that we're not going to see it here in the top part. So now if we actually add a cover photo, we're going to also see that in the project. So let's go ahead and do that already. And we can go to Unsplash and choose something for writing. So we can just click here like this. And then if we go out, now we see that none of the information we added as a property shows up here. So we can go to the three dots here and we can go to properties and we can toggle on the date and we can toggle on the tags so that we can see exactly the date and the tag here. And then what we can do is now check into the tasks. So we have to do cards here and then we can move them from in progress to complete. And ideally when it's complete, we want to show that as part of the progress bars. So the first thing we're going to do is click into one of these cards and let's actually put a task we might need to do in order to finish a first draft of a book. So maybe come up with an outline. And then it's good to have this assign here because in case you're working with multiple people, you might want to be able to assign tasks to people. So we can go ahead and keep this one. And then here we can actually relate this to a project. So we have here a project. So we can already put finish first draft of book like this. So now if we click out of here, we can go ahead and click the three dots here and then show these properties on the outside. So if we click here, we can show the project. So now we see that this project is connected to come up with an outline. And additionally, you can even add things like due date. So actually we can go ahead and add property again by going date and we can go rename and due date like this. And so let's say that this due date is going to be next week like this. Then we can go ahead and go to the three dots here, properties, and then we can show due date. So now we also see the due date here as well. So the next thing we're going to do is show you how to add the progress bar so that when you are complete with this task, it's going to show up inside of a progress bar here. So if we go ahead and click into this project, we can go ahead and click add a property and we're going to choose formula like this and we can go ahead and edit the formula. And for this notion formula, we're going to take the tasks. So you can see here the project related tasks and then dot filter. So it's going to go through all of your tasks and then you can do current, which means the current ones dot. And then you can choose status. So the task status equals and then it should equal done like this. And then you can see how many there are by doing the length. So this should show how many of your tasks right now are in done and we can click done and let's just test that first. So right now it says zero, but if we move this over to complete, it should show it as being one, which is correct. 
So now we can go ahead and rename this formula to say completion. And we can go ahead and change this into more of a bar so that we can show the status. And then the number format is going to be a percent. And we can go ahead and continue editing this formula. So now we need to divide this by the total number of tasks. So we're going to go slash for dividing. And then we're going to go ahead and do tasks and then dot length to see how many there are and done. So now it should show 100%. And now we also want to see this as a progress bar. So we're going to go ahead and click here, edit property, and we're going to choose bar. So now it shows a progress bar. And we can show it on the outside by going to the three dots here. And we can go to properties and we can show completion like this. And now to experiment, we can add more tasks. So let's say that card two is going to be right first chapter and we're going to put a due date here and the project is going to be finish first draft of the book and let's say that now we see that this is in to do so it's not done yet so it shows 50 percent completion but when it is complete it's going to be 100%. So in this way, you can really keep track of all of your tasks completion and see exactly what you need to do in order to complete your projects. So next, let's go ahead and make it so that you can actually see the tasks inside of these project cards. So in order to do that, we're going to go to the blue button here, and then we're going to click this arrow and do plus new template. And this template is going to be called new project. So every project that you add is going to have this template. And inside here, we're going to have a linked view database of tasks. And we're going to choose the correct database by going to tasks. And what we want to do is make sure to show everything we want in terms of the properties. So we're going to go to the three dots here, and then we're going to go to properties and make sure to show the due date like this. And we're not going to show the project because it's going to be filtered by this project. So now what we can do is actually go to filter and we're going to filter it by project and specifically this new project, save for everyone. And we can go ahead and hide the database title so that it looks a little bit cleaner like this. And we can even add an icon. So maybe we can put a folder icon for each individual project. And then let's actually go ahead and put a heading here as well. So slash heading three, and we're going to name this tasks and slash divider. And we can go ahead and highlight this and move it up. So now we have our board view like this with our to do in progress and complete, and we can go back. So now if we go here, we should be able to see the new project as something selectable. So we can just click this open. And now we should only see these tasks relating to this project. So as you can see, now everything is very clear. And then what we can do is further, we can sort this so that the date is going to show the most upcoming due date. So we can go sort here and sort by due date. And we want to see it by descending or ascending. So in this case, ascending so that we see the newest due date here the latest due date here, save for everyone. And we can go ahead and add that sort into the actual database template. And we can actually already set this as default for all views so that whenever you put a new project in, it's going to automatically load this template. And now we can go ahead and edit it. And let's go ahead and add that sort. So we can click sort due date, and we're going to choose ascending save for everyone. And now let's say we add a new project here and we want to add a task for this. So task one due date's going to be the 10th and we can add task two due date is going to be 17th and it seems to be in the correct order. And if we move this to complete, it's going to show the completion like this. So it's working correctly and now we can also see that the tasks are also reflected here as well. So you can go ahead and delete this card. 
So now the last thing that we can do is actually to go ahead and add a archive button in case that you want to add an archive to this and archive old projects or projects that are done. So we can go ahead and click into a project and go to add a property. And we're going to add a checkbox here and we're going to name this archived. And we can show this on the outside by going to the three dots here Go to properties and we're going to turn on archived and what we want to do is show the active projects here and then the archive projects in another tab so in order to do that we're going to just go ahead and click this and then duplicate this tab and we're going to call this archived and we're going to filter the projects based on the checkbox so we can click filter and then we can go to archived and we can choose the ones that are checked here say for everyone and then if we go back to gallery view and then we let's say that we want to archive this one we can just click this and it should show up in archive and then what we don't want to see here are the ones that are archived so we can now add a filter here click filter go to archived and we are going to check this so that only the unchecked shows up and we can save for everyone so now we basically have our project and task manager, including a progress bar showing the completion percentage, as well as a way to archive your projects and the tasks below like this. And you're welcome to customize this as you need, add properties that you might want in this template. So that's the basics of a project and task manager with a progress bar in Notion. We hope that this was helpful for you. We'll leave a completed version of this template in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or anything that was confusing in this video, feel free to let us know, and we hope to see you in the next one.